Um, spend a day in Hunza with me. Get ready because it's a full day of views like this and adventures. First, we start with the Husseini Bridge, which is the most dangerous footbridge in the world. I mean, look at it. Then we drove to Pasu Cones, which has the most amazing scenery. An area of the Grokram Highway that you just have to pass through because of the shape of the mountain. Then, as if one scary bridge wasn't enough, we did another one for no exact reason. It was terrifying just the same. Then we went off to see another viewpoint, but we actually got lost, and then we got stuck. This is me being a total passenger princess and not helping at all, but filming for memories. We made some friends on our detour, and then Jamil asked for a flick, so obviously I had to oblige. Once we got ourselves out of the situation, we decided to film some fun videos. This area in Pakistan is actually known for dried fruits and nuts, and we went to a That's shop to buy some for iftar later, and I was role-playing as a shop owner and trying to sell overpriced apricot oil. The lovely shop owner gave us some apricot juice that we had to make the old traditional way, and then we drove to the Kundra Pass, which is actually the highest border crossing in the world. Since the border to China was closed, we weren't allowed to go any further, and we actually went markhor spotting. A marker is a wild goat that is now endangered and the national animal of Pakistan. But we only saw Ibexes instead. And then we drove through the town of Basu again to go back to our hotel. And we stopped at this famous yak burger restaurant. I've never had a yak burger before, but I knew I had to try it while I was here. I mean, just look at the location of this restaurant. It's literally in the mountains. It's unreal. We ended up ordering some burgers to go because we still had some time to kill before it was iftar time. And then we found this really nice spot to just have our meal. And we drove back to our hotel and this is the hotel that I stayed at in Hunza. It was so cozy and cute. And when you wake up, you actually see the view of Lake Atabad. And that was day one in Hunza.